Hey guys, hope you're doing good. Last one for today. I'm just looking on this guy's uh, Facebook page and it says that he's Cyber Death from Philadelphia and Nintendo Core. Now we have had some of this kind of music on the channel already, although it's quite unusual. We had a guy making music in on an Amiga uh, and we've also had some kind of Nintendo Core Game Boy kind of electronic music. This guy's a one-man band, Corey Swope. Uh, we'll get the vid on the screen and we'll see what this one's all about. Looks like he's done a proper vid for it as well. <laughs> yeah, he's made a good video by the looks of it. Whoa! Nice! Heavy! That was super noisy. Yeah! Crazy speed and energy. Good vocal. Yeah. Nice sound on the guitars and the drums. Got that synth stuff in the background. A heavy vocal. Some nice mixing effects as well. Yeah, this guy's rocking out. Heavy. I like his vocal tone. Good energy and passion in the vocal as well. Heavy. A lot of noise and chaos and commotion. I'm loving that. Very cool. Is that the end of it already? Oh damn, it's only a short one. I was enjoying that. I could have gone again on that one. Uh, very nice. That's not what I was expecting from Nintendo Core, if I'm honest. The other bands that we've had have been kind of computer game music with a, with a metal edge to it. This was heavy as shit, uh, with just crazy noises and kind of computer stuff going on in the background, but yeah, heavy. Uh, my Nintendo never sounded like that, Jesus Christ. Let's have a look at this guy's information. As I say, he's a one-man band, and when you consider that, even cooler, uh, because not only did, was the music sick and tons going on in the music, you know, he's obviously done all those parts in the music as well and come up with the general concept, which is very, very original and different. Um, and, you know, he's made a good video for it as well. We've seen, we've seen bands that have been going more than 10 years that haven't had videos that good. Um, so very, very impressive for a one-man band. I'm into that. As we said, he's from Philadelphia. Uh, he's got a record label. It says Kitty on Fire Records. Um, so he's been picked up, and not surprisingly, really, because uh, for a one-man band, he's been doing some good stuff here. Uh, it, you know, quite impressive. That says his current location is your mom's house. Uh, I'm guessing he's probably in his own mom's house, if that's the case. Uh, but yeah, nice stuff, interesting stuff. You can pick this guy up on Bandcamp as well. It's just gonna cost you a buck to pick up Hellworld, which is what we just listened to. Um, let's see, that came out, it, that's just come out actually by the looks of things, March 2020, so brand new stuff. Sounds brand new and fresh, I'd have to say as well. 
If you want to pick a, oh, he's got, it looks like this guy's putting out singles, uh, which we've spoke about in the past, can be a good idea. Uh, not everyone's got time for long records nowadays, so a single can be a good move. Uh, you've got another one that came out in April 2018, uh, shark, Sweet Tooth, I thought it said Shark Tooth, Sweet Tooth Suicide. That's a name you price. You could just pick that up if you want, uh, if you like the sound of that. Yeah, this guy's interesting. Uh, I wasn't. I was expecting more kind of computer game music with a bit of metal edge to it. This was some heavy, chaotic, crazy, uh, interesting music. Very, very nice way to end the day. Uh, I like this band. Uh, hopefully we'll get another submission out of this guy. Maybe as well like we did with the other one guy who was doing this kind of stuff. He did a live performance where he was doing his vocals live. I don't know if this guy does that, but if he does, I'd like to watch a video of it. So yeah, there you go. Zombie Shark. Uh, very cool name. Um, very cool act. I enjoyed that one. So yeah, good stuff, guys. That's going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed that. See you around. Bye.